Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So we are working on getting our rebar grade stakes set in the footings on the new house project. And uh, these rebar stakes, we'll set the screed board on top of those and that's how we'll get our nice flat footing as we go. So George is wrapping up some string from the uh, garage here. We're gonna move over and we're going to work on one of the porches here. And then uh, as soon as that's all done, we actually got the ones in the basement already set last night, but it was kind of dark when we got here and I didn't feel like starting a video. So I thought, well, we'll go ahead and just start the video here on the porch. So dad's holding the laser, scooter's tapping in the rebars. We'll set them with the laser. And then that would give us our top of footing to screed off of. Scooter's going to get this one drove in the corner. that around Scooter's neck. Yes, I know. Very nice. So fun little fact, this rebar is $8 on a 20 foot stick. So there's eight bucks right there. So it's gonna add up quick. So the footings get two rows of rebar in them, just like that. We're just fitting it right now. Just getting everything bent the way we want it. Something like that. Oh man, we'll just use a... Yeah, we'll just put a short piece in there, that'll be fine. No big deal. That'll work. And then we'll just go on around with another line of rebar <coughs> and we'll have it for these outside footings. Then we gotta lay us two sticks in here to finish out the center footing. And then we gotta make a bunch of short pieces for the Bilco door area and the porches and then the garage. Yeah, Peter's going to demonstrate to us how he bends rebar with his bare hands. Watch this. Good job, Scooter. Mm. Looks nice. Only if I got that every day, good job, Scooter. <laughs> he grew up doing concrete work, so he knows what he's doing. He watched a lot of YouTube videos on doing concrete. Yeah, I'm YouTube certified. YouTube certified. He also has his own YouTube channel. Check out Scooter's World. You can see Scooter fix small engines and lawnmowers and things like that. Well, we got all of our rebar laid out. So now what we're doing is we're putting our rebar on chairs. That way we can leave it in the footing and just pour right over the top of it. We don't have to worry about trying to work it down to concrete or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and put it in here. We're gonna tie everything up. And then uh, nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we're gonna uh, pour some concrete. So George and I have to go finish getting these chairs cut. They come in five foot lengths and there's a hundred foot worth of them per bundle. But we gotta cut them to our desired length. So George and I are gonna go work on that. Him and dad are already working on it, but George and I cut the bulk of them with the uh, Evolution cutoff saw, and then dad just has to cut one rod down the top of them to cut them in pieces. The reason we have to cut them this way is because when they stack on top of each other, they don't stack perfectly straight. So I can only cut that one side. Pretty simple to do though. Take the evolution saw.
Let's see what happens. Mm, maybe. Ready? Start uh, wiring our rebar together now. Like George said, at least it's not 100 degrees like it was the last time we were tying rebar at the fertilizer shed. Oops. couple hundred thousand more to go this is just in the footings we still got to do it in the walls yet Peter, I'm not putting these where I want them I'm just trying to string them out you put them where you feel they're necessary I mean I'm guessing but if you think they need a little farther apart I might have them a little close that one twisted it one too many times once they got concrete around them it really won't matter Well, so far, so good. Got all our rebar tied in our porches and garage and the outside walls of the basement. Now George and I are gonna get started on the center footing. Scooter is welding up some rebar chairs. We needed a solution to get our rebar chairs high enough for the center footing and these are only four inch chairs so i told scooter just take uh one and put it on top of the other and that'll give us about an eight inch chair and that'll be enough to hold our rebar up and our footing so he's using a little arc captain 130 that welder has come in handy so many times i carry it in my truck i can actually run it off my hobart 145 welder generator in the back it runs it just fine so gives me a wire feeder out in the field for the thin items that sometimes I need to weld like parts on combines and stuff like that but we're going to come down here in a hole and George and I will get these chairs placed and get the rebar tied to them as you can see George has got a few in already that looks really good 
worked out really well. Can't wait to get this poured and get these get these footings sealed up. Because the problem is right now is the, the dirt's starting to dry out on the outsides and they're really starting to get crumbly on the sides. So it's causing trench cave-ins and things like that. I'll set the camera up down here somewhere. And then uh, once we get all this done, tomorrow's going to be Friday, we're going to work the weekend and get the uh, actual form set up. And then maybe Monday or Tuesday, if everything goes right, we'll pour some walls and get that done. So the viewer asked me if we were going to do the rebar ourselves, and uh, here we are, I'm doing the rebar. So I'm going to do as much as possible as I can, that way it keeps costs down on everything. So there we go, we'll just get those wired in. And the uh, center footing will be complete. How many you got done? all right everything's wired up everything's ready for nine o'clock tomorrow scooter you don't have a field trip tomorrow by chance do you you're gonna be here pouring concrete you got a field trip i figured you conveniently came up with a field trip to go on scooter's been on a thing of going on field trips with his daughter lately so I tease him all the time. They've went to some pretty cool places though. But uh, anyways, we're ready for concrete. All right, so we're gonna clean tools up. We're gonna call it a day. I can't thank these guys enough for sticking with me and helping me get this stuff all put together so that uh, the process will stay moving along painlessly, hopefully. So. All right, time to go home and get some supper, and we'll be back in the morning. Well, good morning. We're gonna get a few things prepped here before the uh, concrete comes. So we cut out these pieces of plywood, and we're gonna use these to keep the concrete from coming from the porches and the garage footings. This concrete will be a pretty, uh, dry pour it won't be real runny because it is footing concrete so it's not going to take much to stop it from flowing into the basement here so these simple pieces of plywood should do the trick just fine scooter and i and george got them cut out and drilled some holes in them for them to slide in we're just going to kind of work them down in once we get them in and that'll damn that concrete up real nice. So we'll get the rest of these put in and then the concrete should be here pretty soon. About, about uh, probably 45 minutes it'll be here.
Well, first load of concrete's here. So we'll get these bored. I know there's, but I thought, I kept laying across to see how much space for us in a couple of spots. And That's why I say, well, you dig it like this, set it up two inches, and that gives us a little bit of a, a little well, bit I didn't realize it would pile up like this and stay. If you wet it up, it won't. Dad, why don't you get another shovel full right there for Angel to smear in there? Just build that side up just a little bit. Yeah. Ain't going to hurt. We're here. That'll work. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Yeah. Looks nice, Angel. Wonderful work. Well, Jeannie said we had to pick on him for toughening him up. Right. 
where's the great state? It's a little too windy today for camera, but yeah. I hope everybody don't mind a little wind noise. All right, ready, Scooter? Let's knock this porch out. Yep. Which way do you want to go? I don't care. If you pick a spot, we know. Hang on. No. I'm running out of room over here. Keep going. There you go. Let's turn up. Come back. Find our place. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go other side of our. All right, you stay there. Yeah. Now you bring back. Yeah, there you go. I'd say ethnic, but I can't say that right now. Just, uh, I remember this came out of the way. See? All right. All this extra. Very good. Hey, pull that over a little bit. Come on. Yep. Get the lead out of your yes, ass. Sir. Yes, sir. I'll get right on it, sir. We're almost done. This back this way. Well, it's all poured, all screeded off. Getting the rebars put in that tie the walls to the footings. Turned out really nice. Really looks good. Makes it look bigger now that we got concrete in the footings. All right, so everything's curing, everything looks good. We're gonna come back this weekend and we will set some wall forms and get that ready. You gotta do some rebar work, but uh, everything looks good. The center footing does not need to look pretty because that's gonna get poured over when we put the, uh, the floor in of the basement. So we just screeded that off to make sure it wasn't too tall, but it didn't have to look real pretty. Um, and really the footings don't have to be that pretty either. In fact, you want them a little rough so you get good at adhesion of the wall to the footing. So a little bit rougher is not going to hurt. Got all the rebars in, everything's ready to go. So this, this evening, my uncle Jamie and Tim are going to drop off some forms 
and uh, we'll get started over the weekend. George and I are going to go push some dirt on another project. We got the 270 Hitachi over there and the D8H Cat Dozer. So we're going to work on that. So I'm actually going to end this video right here. And then we'll start a new video tomorrow when we start setting forms. So thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. We'll see you all in the next one.